I'm going to show you what is the best way to use Claude and Thropic's large language model, which if you've been following this channel, you will know I actually think is it is a better large language model than ChatGPT for creative writing specifically. So let me show you how you can use that today. All right, folks, we basically have two different ways to get our hands on Claude. The first, however, used to be the best way to do it because it was free, but it appears to be either something is down or I don't know what's going on, but a lot of people have not found any luck being able to get access to that to it this way, and that is using Claude in Slack. If you come up here to anthropic.com slash Claude dash in dash Slack, You'll get to this screen and it'll say add to Slack. You click here and supposedly you can add this to your own Slack workplace. I currently have not been able to get it to work. And from a lot of the chatter that I've heard, a lot of people aren't able to get this to work in Slack. They'll just respond. They'll ask Claude a question and it won't respond. And so I'm not entirely sure what that is about. Um, I understand there might be a wait list. And for those who get access to the waitlist and maybe it'll work there but really the it's not very clear why this isn't working or um or what's going on there maybe they just withdrew from that option altogether it was free so it was probably costing them a lot of money but regardless this is not currently as of this recording the best way to get a hold of claude but if you manage to go down this rabbit hole and get access to it and it works for you, be sure to let me know in the comments because this was definitely the best way to do it because it was free. Uh, but we're going to just close out of that for now. The other way is through a website called poe.com, P-O-E.com. And here you can come and input your information and get signed up for a free account, which gives you not a lot of access, but enough access that you can get started and just see if it's something you want to play around with more. So I'm just going to enter in my details here real quick off camera and then we can get started from there. All right, so once you're in Poe, it's going to look something like this. And you'll see on the left here you have a number of different language models, three of which are from Claude, but we also have ChatGPT, which this is the ChatGPT 3.5 which is the free version that everyone has access to, but they also have limited access to GPT-4, which is essentially the paid version of ChatGPT, which is interesting. So if you wanna compare models, this might be a good place to do it. You can also go here to Claude Plus, which is the most, the kind of the basic model. There's Claude Instant, which I think is the older model that's a little bit faster. And then we have the Claude Instant 100k which i currently don't have access to because you need the paid account which i have not signed up for yet uh, but this has the potential to be really groundbreaking and uh, what this is is this the the reason it says 100k is because it can understand and remember up to 100,000 tokens uh, which, as it says here, is around 75,000 words. So you could give it your whole book or most of your book, and it will remember the whole thing. Keep in mind that you'll have to pay for that, but um, it'll remember the whole thing, and then you can go ahead and start chatting with it, and it will remember that whole thing. So it's a great way to maybe create a uh, book Bible from your book. You put your book in there, and then you ask it to create entries from that book or to continue writing the book in the same style. Very useful. I have talked to a lot of authors that have used it. I've not yet used it myself, but I understand it is a little bit flaky. That's why I haven't used it yet and requires a little bit of work. I have no doubt it'll be there soon. And so I definitely want to play around with it, but that is something, this is the only place that you could get access to that here. If you were in, using Claude in Slack, this wouldn't, you wouldn't have access to that level. So that's pretty cool. But as they say here, due to limited capacity, we've had to limit message sending on this bot. We have to subscribe. And even if you're subscribed, I think you have a very narrow number of prompts that you can do 
uh, of messages you can do each month to the point where it's almost not worth it really to start using it yet and not for a heavy amount of writing. And again, that is why I have not yet subscribed. I'll tell you why I haven't subscribed later, but let's go ahead and go through this. So Claude Plus, this is definitely the best one so far. Um, and we can use it here. I have a grand total on the free version. You have a grand total of three um, chats per day. So we're gonna go ahead and say, write me the opening scene of an urban fantasy book where the heroine is a let's say a uh, let's say a 35 year old female police officer who discovers an elf in a New York City alleyway and realizes that magic is real. Probably not the best opening scene but we're just trying to get it give it something for context i'll just add write 1000 words i doubt it'll actually be able to get to a thousand but we're just going to test it usually these things cap at about five or six hundred words but we'll just give it that uh write it in a yeah i'm not going to give it a style on this because i don't have time to create a style prompt if you saw my previous video about style prompting it's a very fun process but it can take a lot of work to iterate and optimize until you get something you like so i'm just going to leave it off for now let's go ahead and see what it gives us yeah and this is why claude is so great at creative writing it goes right into this very immersive showing not telling kind of opening scene the alleyway reeked of piss and vomit as so many did in this part of new york city officer jenny marlowe flashed her flashlight around the narrow space between the two brick buildings looking for any signs of disturbance a noise caught her attention like a soft moan she swung her light toward a pile of trash bags and old soggy cardboard boxes now this is an abrupt way to start a story and that's just because i didn't really give it enough context to to actually start a story based on what I gave it this is exactly what it should be giving me and it's doing a really fantastic job um, let's move ahead here because I want to see how this ends <laughs> please officer I mean, mean you no harm he said his voice melodic and lilting I am lost and afraid in the big loud metal kingdom <laughs> so it knows it's an elf and the elf is out of his place uh, I like that it called it a metal kingdom that's just really cool right there uh, and again, this is why Claude is amazing for creative writing. Jenny frowned, keeping her gun aimed at him. Put your hands on your head and get down on your knees. He complied slowly, moving with grace that seemed at odds with his disheveled appearance. I beg for your mercy. I am but a traveler who wishes only to return home. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, as he knelt, she saw with a shock that his... A ears tapered into distinct points through the strands of his pale hair like an elf's ear her logical mind rebelled at the idea elves were creatures of myth and yet she couldn't deny what she was seeing with her own eyes here's a place i would maybe edit it a little bit more to expand this realization moment um because she kind of it, it kind of just happens too quickly uh but that's something i could have included in the prompt as well but you get the idea this uh this is good i am happy with this uh, I would go ahead and take, if I were writing this scene, I would go ahead and take this and just add to it, maybe uh, give it a few sections to expand. But overall, great job. And now if you wanted to, you could take this prompt that we just gave it, go up here to GPT-4, which we all we only get one prompt on the free version, so we better use this wisely. Type in the same prompt and see what it gives us. 
Detective Leona Thompson had seen it all in her 12 years of the forest, from domestic disputes to grisly murders. Nothing had managed to surprise her anymore, until tonight. It was a humid summer night in New York City. The streets were slick with the day's earlier rainfall, and the city's neon lights shepherded into the puddles. See, this is not bad either, but it, you can tell it's clearly a different style. It's a little bit more storytelling y like you're telling a story orally, and not as sort of gritty in the in the moment deep point of view that is ideal when we are writing so um you know chat gpt can be good you do have to pay extra attention to the style and things like that if you're using chat gpt for creative writing i still love chat gpt for other things besides the creation of the uh, of the actual prose but uh overall this isn't too bad and it's given us some um, some kind of similar things here how did you get here she inquired um it's not really that important that we go over this in too much detail but both models do work um, i just personally prefer claude for the actual prose that it gives us um now this is a great way to access it and if you are going to subscribe to get more options um, you can do so and it is 20 bucks a month to subscribe to poe.com you get access to claude you get access to gpt4 which you might say hey this is actually a better deal than getting chat gpt plus the only downside to subscribing to poe is that even with the subscription you are limited to a certain number of prompts every month and it's a far more restrictive um number of prompts than what you could get with chat gpt plus with chat gpt plus you're limited to 25 prompts every three hours using gpt4 with uh with this i'm i believe it is quite a bit less um yeah you're limited to 600 gpt4 each month so you could easily burn through that very quickly and you get 1000 in claude plus every month so you do get a mix of the two so if you use ai kind of sparingly then this could be a a good way to do it um but if you are just writing in claude every single day you're gonna go through even those those thousand really really quickly now let me tell you the way i like to do it the way and and look at this gpt4 is actually is it's got one advantage here is that it does actually appear to be writing the full thousand words which chat gpt doesn't seem to be able to do and it says due to limited capacity we have a limited messaging on the spot uh anyway uh so this was actually pretty good um i i think the prose is not quite as good as what claude gives you but it, look this gave us a much fuller scene so there are advantages and disadvantages to both models. I encourage you to play around with both and see which one you like better for your specific style and really play around with it uh, until you find a style you like. But let me tell you the way I like to do things. So personally, I like to go to ChatGPT to do most of my pre-writing work. And what, what I mean by that is I like to do brainstorming in ChatGPT. I like to do character work, building characters. I like to build my outlines in ChatGPT and do as much of that pre-writing work as possible. And then what I do is instead I go to PseudoWrite to write my actual prose. We'll go there right now. So, uh, PseudoWrite recently released this thing called Story Engine, which is an absolute game changer. Changer. The only downside to PseudoWrite is that they have a limit to the number of words you can generate in a month, depending on what your subscription is. Uh, if you have a higher subscription, you get more words, etc. Uh, which is why I do most of my pre-writing work in ChatGPT, so I'm not burning up those words in PseudoWrite, and then I will take those things that I have generated. So these characters here, for example, uh, are for the book I'm currently working on. Uh, these were all generated in ChatGPT, not in uh, Story Engine. But 
And same with this outline here. This was all either ChatGPT or just myself writing, writing it on my own. But then these sections here, we get to the actual chapters. You get this prose here, and this was all written by Sto Story Engine in Pseudowrite. And the greatest thing about this is that these models actually use a mixture of GPT-4 and Claude and I think possibly some other language models depending on what they're good at. But basically, the prose that comes out of this, in my experience, when prompted correctly, is so much better on the whole than what you would get in either ChatGPT or in Claude on their own. And so what I actually recommend is that you do what I do. You use either Claude or ChatGPT, whichever you prefer, to do your pre-writing work and get that all settled. And then you come into Story Engine to actually write your prose. I do not recommend pseudo-write if you want to write the prose yourself. Um, there, there's one exception is like if you hate editing, pseudo write can be good for editing a manuscript. So you take the manuscript you've already written, stick it into story and or not story engine, but into other areas of pseudo write and use some of the editing tools that they have. Those can be really good. But uh, if if you're not either doing that or writing the prose in pseudo write, I actually don't recommend pseudo write. But I wholeheartedly recommend pseudo write if you want to do either of those things, write the prose or do the editing because it is so much better than just trying to prompt it out in ChatGPT or in Claude. A lot of finagle, you have to do a lot of work to get it to work in ChatGPT or Claude. And sometimes it's just better to have a program like this that makes it a whole lot easier for you. And I personally love PseudoWrite and I've been using it for a while now. I was lucky to be part of the beta for this program and it is absolutely insane what you can do with Story Engine. Um, and so that is my recommendation on the best way to use Claude. Uh, you can use it in Poe and Poe is really good. It does have limits and it will cost you 20 bucks a month. For 30 bucks a month, you can get that access to PseudoWrite and it's even better, way better in my opinion. Uh, and then the best of the best way would be to, to subscribe to both. So you can do a mix of the two. If that's not out of your budget and you can only pick one, I would ask you, which is more important to you? Are, are, is it more important that you brainstorm and do all of that pre-writing work? If that's the case, then I would use either ChatGPT Plus or Poe to get access to those tools. If it's more important to you to have help writing your first draft, then 100% use PseudoWrite. And if you can, use both. If you can, I would ask you to go ahead and sign up through my link, which you can find in the description for PseudoWrite. It is an affiliate link, and this is how I'm able to keep these videos going. So if you are interested in PseudoWrite and want to help the channel out a bit, go ahead and use that that link. I only post affiliate links for products that I actively use. Otherwise, I wouldn't recommend them. I genuinely believe it's important to only recommend things that you actually use. Uh, and if it happens to be an affiliate, then then great. Poe and ChatGPT do not have affiliate programs, and so I still recommend them to you. But whatever you choose to do, I really appreciate it if you would consider looking at Suda right through my link below. So that, those are my thoughts on how to use Claude, and I'll see you in the next video.